Hey y'all, it's your girl Tash Tash Tashana, and I'm back with another inspirational video so we can change energies and raise frequencies to help make this world a better place, to help make our world a better place, to help make this world a better place. Yes. If you're new here, my name is Tashana and I'm the founder of The Chosen Ones Love. We give out motivational, inspirational, and informational videos as much as we can to help raise energies, frequencies, and vibrations to help change mentalities and yes help make this world a better place today i'm simply making a video about being in one-sided relationships y'all we have to let one-sided relationships go if you are trying your hardest and your damnedest and you putting out all of your energy all of your love all of your care all of your kindness to somebody and they are not reciprocating that they are ignoring you. They are belittling you. They are gaslighting you. They are manipulating you. They are putting you down for no reasons. Just nothing you do is good enough for them. Let that person go. Being in a one-sided relationship will kill your soul, will literally kill you, will have you feeling so down and out that you lose sight of who you really are. You lose sight of your true value and your true worth because you are letting negativity inside of your head about what somebody else thinks about you or what's how somebody else treats you or how somebody else responds to the way you treating them. And no matter what that person do, say, think, or don't show you has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them and them not being mature and them not being able to grow or them not being where they need to be in their life to fully love their self. And if they can't fully love their self, how they gonna love you? I've been through that y'all. It is not worth it. Cause in the end, it's gonna take a whole bunch of strength and a whole bunch of energy from you to find you again, to get back to you again, to develop you again, to grow and transform and change to you again so you can become better than you ever were. But on top of that, on top of that, some people don't get a chance, a second chance. Some people don't aren't able to heal. Some people aren't able to move forward. Some people aren't able to grow. Some people don't have the support system they need to keep moving forward in life. And those be the people that tend to get used and abused the most because they're out there. They're loners. They don't have people around them to pour into them and give them energy. So when I tell you, those people are more than likely attracting negative people, narcissists, manipulators, downgraders, just people that wants to put them down in order to push their self up. Stay away from them people. If you want to better yourself, you got to stand on your own too. You have to determine who you are. You have to determine where you're going. You have to determine what you want to do in life, what you want to be in life. You have to determine the lane that you're going to be in. You can't be for yourself and against yourself at the same time. Just like another person can't be for you and against you at the same time. You have to either love yourself or let yourself go. And don't let yourself go because you are worth everything. God brought you here. The creator got you here just like everybody else for a reason. You haven't found that purpose yet because you've you haven't found you yet. You haven't went inside. You haven't let the drugs and the alcohol go. You haven't let the poisons go. You haven't let what the media wants the world to think go. You haven't let your programs and your conditions that you were raised in go. You have to entirely recreate yourself. It don't matter about your past. Guess what? Everybody got a past and everybody can change and transform and grow. And you can leave that past behind. Stay out of the past. The past don't got nothing to do with your future and it don't have nothing to do with your present day. Nobody, nobody is perfect. Do you hear me? Nobody is perfect. As perfect as I look, as perfect as I act, as perfect as I want to think I am, I'm not even perfect, y'all. I have a lot of healing yet to do. Healing is continuous. Healing is not healing one thing and then you're done healing? No, because you're going to have triggers because nothing is truly healed. You're going to have to transmute that trigger when that trigger happens. Don't act off that emotion because you will hurt yourself and you will hurt others around you and you will hurt who you love the most if you act off those triggers. And that person and those people 
will be looking at you like you're crazy because honestly, they don't understand what they've done wrong and they don't understand that they trigger you. So that's when you have to not act off your emotion and you have to sit there and calm down from the trigger. You have to understand what's triggering you. And if it's something that the other person or the other people are doing, you need to talk to them calmly and let them know this is a trigger for me. And if they love you, they're going to help you through it. And if they don't love you, they're going to talk about you, be little, you be right, you try to put you down or don't try to help you forward. And that's how you know that person's not for you. So you need to get away from that person and let that person go. As hard as it feels, as hard as it hurts, as hard as your heart is going to feel pain, you will get over it. Your heart will be able to love again, but you need to love you first, wholeheartedly first. And nobody's perfect. And that's what I mean. I read a meme last night. And this is what the meme says. And it is so truthful and it is so honest. Just listen, y'all listen. It says, stop telling people. And this is for people out here that's telling people these things. Stop telling people that no one will love them until they love themselves. Stop planting the idea in people's brains that they are unworthy of love because of their own struggle. Everybody's struggling. Everybody's struggling to heal. Everybody's struggling to get better. Wait, let me take that back because some people don't care about getting better. Some people don't care about healing. Some people don't even think that there's anything wrong with them. People really do out here think that they perfect and they not and run away from those people because ain't nobody perfect. But for the ones that are trying to heal, that are doing the work, that are actually showing that they love and they care about you and they want to push you forward, but they have triggers and they are hurting too and they trying to heal too and they're not perfect and they're struggling to, to heal. They're struggling to make their self better on a daily basis to have a better life than what they used to have. Stop telling people that they're unworthy of love, that they not ready for love, that, that they not ready for a relationship because those are the people that are because those are the people fighting. Those are the people that's trying. Those are the people that's showing you who they truly are. I would rather be around somebody that's showing me who they truly are than to be around people that's faking who they are, not showing emotion, not showing their, their vulnerability, not being transparent. I, I can't deal with a fake person. I can't deal with a clown. I can't deal with somebody that can't be transparent. Everybody's struggling. Ain't nobody perfect. Everybody's trying to heal. Everybody's trying to grow. But if you showing that growth, if you showing that transformation, if you showing that you're trying to heal, if you showing that maturity, if you showing that you are getting better, if you showing that you are trying to do better, or at least are you are able to converse that, yes, I might have PTSD. Yes, I might be um, negative sometimes, or yes, I might have triggers because of this issue, or yes, I've been through this and this and this, and this is why I act like this. And I don't want to act like this. And I'm trying to change. Can you help me change by not trying to trigger me or not triggering me at all? And if you do trigger me and I let you know that you trigger me, can you help me through it? A relationship takes two y'all. A relationship takes two. A partnership takes two. Can't no one person do it by themselves. Ain't nobody going to keep putting in they all, they everything, and keep giving you their energy, keep giving you their frequencies, keep giving you their vibrations, their positive energy, their everything, and you're not giving anything back in return. You're not showing anything any energy that you're grateful, that you're appreciative, that you're forgiving. Come on now, if you love somebody and you care for somebody, forgiveness is important because everybody's going to need to be forgiven. Nobody's perfect. Stop acting like you're perfect. I'm not acting like I'm perfect. Y'all, people out here trying to heal and everybody going through the struggle. And there's people that would rather be alone or rather be in their comfort zone of their home or their comfort zone in their own areas, frequencies, vibrations, energies, because they are scared. They fear. They are scared and they fear 
what might happen in the next relationship. And those people are trying to heal. They have traumas. People are trying to heal. Being scared is real. You don't have to accept it. You don't have to care for it. Then you can move around. You don't have to deal with that person. But if you love that person, you need to forgive that person. And you need to learn their triggers. You need to start learning things about that person if you want to stay in that person's life. If it's meant, it's meant. If it's not, it's not. But no matter how far you get away from somebody, people in your life, people that you've met that you wish you that you wish you've never lost, if it's meant and if they're meant to be in your life, they'll always gravitate back towards you. They'll always come back into your life if it's meant. So you don't have to worry about chasing somebody or somebody chasing you. If it's meant, it's going to happen naturally. Just be who you are, love who you are and keep healing and keep growing and keep transforming because that's all we can do. We got to take it one day at a time and keep pushing forward. But stay away from one sided relationships, y'all. And it don't matter who it is. It can be a spouse, daddy, mama, cousin, uncle, brother, sister, grandma, auntie. It can be anybody, colleague. It could be employer, it could be best friend, it could be godparent, it could be anybody. If they are not helping you grow, transform, or change, and helping you be more positive and see more light and happiness and growth in yourself, get from around them people, babe. They don't mean you any good. They're in it for themselves. They're in it just to take, 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 take. And you can't take that, especially trying to heal, especially struggling. You can't take that for so long. You're going to deplete yourself. And once you deplete yourself, it's hard to get from rock bottom by yourself. It's doable, but it's hard with no support system. So stop it before it happens with ending a one-sided relationship. If a person is for you, they're going to help you through whatever. And they're going to forgive you and you're going to forgive them and y'all going to move forward. As long as the relationship ain't disrespectful, unforgiving, or untrustworthy, you need to keep going and y'all need to keep fighting if y'all truly love each other because that's what love is all about. It's patient, it's kind, it's caring, it's positive, it's growth, it's serenity, it's sincerity, it's abundance, it's it's agape love, it's, it's unconditional. Ain't nobody perfect. So be you, shine and grow. And with all that being said, I hope y'all got some very valuable information from this video. And sorry, y'all. I know I've been putting out videos just sporadically. I've been going through my own healing process the last three to four weeks. Like I said, on top of that, me and my kids went on, went on vacation and came back. On top of that, I'm in the middle of switching jobs right now. So it's just a lot of things going on at home but and in my personal life right now but i can assure you i am still here i am still active and i'm still motivating inspiring and giving out information to push the world forward to push y'all forward to push me forward to better ourselves collectively so we can make this world a better place so we can make this world a better place i love y'all and i hope y'all have a very beautiful blessed day Mwah.